In today's video, we're going to explain quickly and easily what shutter speed is and how you can use it. Without further ado, let's jump in and get started. Welcome to Ben's Guide, your guide to the best news, reviews and how-tos from the world of photography and video. If you're joining us here today for the first time, then consider subscribing to join our growing community of photography lovers. Okay guys, let's jump in. On your camera, you have a shutter. This is a little bit like a gate in that it opens and it closes. When your shutter is open, it lets light into the camera. And when it's closed, it stops the light from coming in. Letting light into the camera through the shutter means that you're going to expose or lighten your images. The longer the shutter is open, the more light pours into your camera. Take a look at these two photos so you can really see how this affects it. The first image is a fast shutter speed. This means that the shutter was only open for a very short and fast amount of time. The other image is a slow shutter speed, meaning that the shutter was open a longer period of time, letting in more light. As you can clearly see, the fast shutter speed only lets in a tiny bit of light, which means that the image is darker, whereas the slow shutter speed lets in more light and makes the image lighter. How do you control shutter speed in your camera? Well, there are a couple of options that you can change it with. The first one is shutter priority mode. This is found on your dial with a TV if you're in a Canon camera, or alternatively, if you're in a Nikon camera, it's marked with an S. If you own any of the brands of camera and you're watching this, then you could just resort to your manual and it will give you the instructions there. Shutter priority mode enables you to control the shutter speed in your camera. But there's also another option, and this is manual mode. This is gonna be marked with an M on your Canon camera and the same on the Nikon. Now what manual mode does is it lets you have full control over all the camera settings in your camera. This includes shutter speed, ISO and aperture. Now you're probably not aware of ISO and aperture if you're watching this video. Good news, I've actually made a video about aperture which explains what it is and how you can use it. It's really easy to understand and it's nice and quick and to the point. If you wanna watch that video, click the card showing above my head right now. So you now know what shutter speed is and where to find it in your camera. So how do you use it to take some lovely photos? Having the shutter open for a short period of time captures and freezes the moment in time. What do I mean when I say this? Take a look at these photos so you can best see what I'm talking about. You can see in these photos that each moment has been captured in time. It's frozen the exact moment that it happened. And this is what happens when you use a fast shutter speed. Now on the flip side of this, if you use a slow shutter speed, you have the opposite effect. This is when the shutter is open for a longer period of time. And because of this, it lets in more light. Now I want you to take a look at some of the examples here of photos that I've taken. The first one is a waterfall photo. Look what's happened to the water. In this photograph, I took this picture at a 10 second exposure. This means that the shutter was open for 10 seconds. Anything that moves in the photograph suddenly becomes blurred and smooth. Now the longer the shutter is open, the more blurred and smooth that the moving subject in the photo is going to appear. But as you can see, this has some really interesting and creative effects to your photos. You can also do this with such things like motorways, for instance. If you go and take a picture of a motorway in the evening and the cars are driving through, then all you're gonna pick up is the lights. This is called light trails, and this is a way to create an effect when taking photos with a slow shutter speed. Now, if you'd like to know more about this technique, I've actually created a video all on long exposure. This goes into all the details of what you need to do and how to do it. So if you wanna watch that, I'm gonna leave a link to this at the end of the video. If you have any questions about today's video and anything more about shutter speed, then don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below and we can chat about this after the video. 
I wanna thank everyone for turning up today and watching this video. And if you're new here, remember, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and then you can be notified of new videos every single week. Thanks for watching, guys, and whatever you do today, have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.